I've always prided myself on being a person who's a really smart worker. I don't, I don't really believe in the idea of FaceTime that like putting in the hours equates to being a good employee. And I think I'd, you know, I'm always someone who made it a priority to be able to go home and have dinner with my husband or go home and get to the gym. Um, and after six months of working at my first job or the second job out of college, I had a review where someone questioned my passion and my dedication to the firm. And I think that feedback to me was something that um, really hit, like really hit me hard. It was the first time I'd ever been challenged about my commitment or dedication to anything in my life. And I think in being reflective on that, um, there's always this balance between communicating to your team that like you're willing to put in the hard work if and when and at all times that's necessary, but also having this like clear line of what your boundaries are and knowing how much how often you're being a really good employee to the business versus being good to yourself and true to yourself. Um, so it made me think and it made me change just the way I acted and communicated in the workplace to make sure that what I felt on the inside was being communicated to my colleagues and peers on the outside um, because I felt like it was totally not true. I felt like the feedback wasn't reflective of how I felt. And so it was really disheartening for me that someone interpreted my actions not in the way I had intended. So I think that was um, something when you're young that's really good to learn is how your actions might communicate things that you don't intend and how to make sure that your perception lines up with what you believe the reality is.